Yeah, good morning, Harsha, Asmita, Bhaibab, Bristi, Shreya, Manish, Parimal, Manthan, Krishna, Soti, Arihant, and Akanksha, Pari. Good morning to all of you. Today we are going to take up the last lesson of your syllabus, that is, if I were you. So, um, this is the last lesson from your book Beehive, which we are going to take up today. Uh, we'll just start today. We shall require at least two days to finish this uh, lesson. So, please be regular uh, these two days as well. Okay. So, um, let's uh, begin this lesson. It's very, it's a sort of a detective lesson. So, it will be very much interesting for you to sort of uh, understand. I hope uh, you will understand this. So before uh, we begin, let us first go to the introduction part of this. So uh, let's read from here once. Uh, this plays about a playwright. Playwright means a dramatist, okay, a person who writes the play or a drama is called play, playwright. So this play is about a playwright named Gerard. Okay, his name is Gerard. How he escapes being killed by an intruder who wants to steal his identity and live peacefully. So Gerard is very famous. He is a playwright. He is a dramatist. He has got a decent lifestyle. Therefore, people were jealous of him, okay? So now this story will tell you how uh, the dramatist Gerard escapes being killed, okay? How could he escape uh, being killed by an intruder? Intruder means a person who suddenly enters your room without taking your permission. It's called intruder. Intrude means uh, illegal entry into the uh, house or a room wherever okay in uh, what is that called illegal entry means without taking your consent so intruder means a person who uh, intrudes into your house or room intrudes means enters without taking permission so this story is about how gerard the dramatist escapes being killed by an intruder who wants to steal his identity so how can someone steal your identity is it possible now it is possible um, uh, if you wear a mask identity if you wear a mask you become a clone of that person you need to first of all you need to kill that person and become a clone of that person okay only then uh, to some extent you can leave with that person's identity but eventually you will be you will be uh, caught because uh, you know you cannot be uh, somebody else okay every human being has his or her own identity every human being has his or her own quality his or her own characteristics unique characteristics which nobody can copy okay you can try to copy but you cannot copy correctly, you cannot copy exactly because uh, there are some traits in a person, the characteristics in a person, uniqueness in a person which nobody can, nobody can copy or nobody can steal. Therefore, uh, to steal someone's identity is something which is very difficult. Uh, you can live on for few days artificially but eventually you will be caught by the people. Okay. Gerard fools the intruder. Gerard, uh, being a dramatist, is very clever, very intelligent. So he fools the intruder, confines him in a cupboard, and finally hands him over to the sergeant. Sergeant means a police. Okay. So this is what the story is all about. If I were you. So if I were you, uh, from the very title, you can understand that if I were you means. Uh, if I were, I, if I was able to be like you, 
so which is not possible as the as, as in the case of intruder we will see that it is not possible for us to be somebody else because every human being has some uniqueness, some unique qualities, unique characteristics, unique style which people can imitate only to certain extent but not altogether. Okay, so now let's begin. Okay, so let me continue. Uh, here you can see the introduction. Gerard lives alone in a lonely cottage. He lives alone in a lonely cottage. An intruder who is a criminal enters his cottage. The intruder that we talked about is a criminal and who enters Gerard's cottage. He intends to murder uh, Gerard and takes on his identity. Does he succeed? So, does he succeed is something we have to discover by going through the play. So, let's find out. The following words and okay, this will do later on. Uh, see the scene here, a small cottage interior, there is an entrance back right which may be curtained. Another door to the left must be a practical door. The furniture is simple, consisting of small table towards the left, a chair or two and a divan rather upstage on the right. On the table is a telephone. When the curtain rises, means when the play begins, so when the drama starts, Gerard is standing by the table making a phone call. He is of medium height and wearing horn rimmed glasses, old age glasses, horn rimmed. He is dressed in a lounge suit and a great coat. His voice is cultured. Gerard, being a dramatist, his voice is very, very cultured. Okay. So Gerard speaks over the phone. Well, tell him to phone up directly. I must know. Yes, I expect I will still be here, but you mustn't count on that in about 10 minutes time, right home, goodbye. Okay, so what does Gerard uh, speak over the phone? He says, tell him, he's, it seems uh, there's a conversation between Gerard and somebody about a third person. That is why he's saying, tell him to phone up directly. I must know what has happened. Yes, I expect I will still be here. But you mustn't count on that in about 10 minutes time, right? How oh, good it. So, uh, Jared tells the person uh, with whom he is talking over phone uh, that uh, uh, you mustn't count on whatever you have come to know. Uh, um, I you, you report to me, okay, in about 10 minutes time. Till then, bye bye, okay. Um, or you might also say like tell him to phone up directly tell that person third person to phone me so that um, I, ha I I can hear from him okay uh, straight away and uh, I expect I will still be there here uh, and then you mustn't count on that whatever you heard so let's see I need to get uh, I, I need to hear from him directly he puts down the phone and goes to the divan and on the left where there is a traveling bag and starts packing. Whilst he is thus engaged, another man similar in build to Gerard enters from the right silently. A similar in build to Gerard, that intru uh, intruder it seems, okay. Mm, he comes, he enters the house of Gerard, revolver in hand. He is having a gun in his hand. He is flashily dressed in an overcoat and a soft hat. He bumps accidentally against the table. He bumps accidentally, got hard against the table. Okay, he hit the table accidentally. And at the sound, Gerard turns quickly. And Gerard turns quickly whenever he heard the sound. Okay, Gerard now says pleasantly, why? This is a surprise, mister. Gerard says pleasantly, 
why this is a surprise mister intruder says i am glad you are pleased to see me i don't think you will be pleased for long put those paws up okay the well, hands up paws means your hands up put your hands up okay mm, uh, intruder intruder says i am glad you are pleased to see me uh, this is a surprise uh, gerard first takes very pleasantly you know he is interacting with intruder in a very pleasant manner without any kind of terror or fear in his mind let's find out gerard say this is all very melodramatic not very original perhaps but melodramatic means showing of excessive emotion is called melodramatic showing something which is which does not appear to be true so gerard says this is all very melodramatic not very original perhaps but into that trying to become and ever it was says you appear to be very very calm gerard nonchalant is your word i think hmm because he is a dramatist so uh, he knows the exact word he he is having lot of vocabulary so gerard corrects the intruder saying that i hope you mean to say i am nonchalant nonchalant means dear students uh, a person uh, a person who doesn't show any kind of interest or any kind of emotion or interest at anything is called nonchalant so gerard reminds the intruder saying that i think you mean to uh, you mean i am nonchalant intruder thanks a lot you will soon stop being smart okay uh, i will make you crawl i want to know a few things see first of all i would like to uh, know few things and then you shall soon stop being so smart like this okay you will soon stop being smart i'll make you crawl gerald anything you like i know all the answers but before we begin i should like to change my position you may be comfortable but i am not okay i want to change my position i am not comfortable at my position now into the sit down there and no funny business okay you sit down you are not supposed to move anywhere motions to a chair and sits himself on the divan by the bag into that himself sits and he motions uh, with the help of his uh, you know eyes might be uh, to a chair where he wants gerard to sit now then we'll have a nice little talk about yourself okay and after that we shall uh, interact with one another gerard at last a sympathetic audience sympathetic audience uh, he says oh you appear to be a very good listener to me mm, gerard says i will tell you the story of my life how as a child i was stolen by the gypsies and why at the age of 32 i find myself in my lonely essex cottage how to so gerard strikes up a very friendly conversation with the intruder he did not get uh, scared by the intruder he is striking up a conversation in a very normal very natural manner and he says that i shall let you know how as a child i was stolen by the gypsies gypsies means uh, you can say the Mm, the gypsies means people who uh, roam from roam around from one place to another without any having any permanent settlement people having uh, no permanent settlement are called gypsies so uh, gerard says how as a child i was stolen by the gypsies and why at the age of 32 i am alone in my cottage i shall let you know the story intruder says keep it to yourself and just answer my questions i'm not interested at your personal life story just answer my questions you live here alone well do you do you live here alone gerard i am sorry i thought you were telling me not asking me okay i am sorry i thought you were uh, telling me and not asking me a question of inflection your voice is unfamiliar okay inflection means for dear students suppose for example you say do you know him and if i say do you know him 
So see, there is a difference in tone that is called inflection. So Gerard says that there is an inflection in your voice, in your tone, that is why uh, your voice is so unfamiliar to me and there is a question of inflection. So I want to know from you um, whether you are asking me a question or telling me a question. Okay. Uh, sorry, asking me a question or telling something to me. Okay. I cannot find that inflection in your voice. Uh, Intruder says with emphasis, do you live here alone? Okay. Uh, so, see, now, do you live here alone? Now the inflection has come in his voice because he's saying with emphasis, do you live here alone? But when earlier when he said you live here alone, then that tone was not there in his voice. Okay. Um, that particular inflection in English is called inflection. That was not there. That is why now the inflection will be there. Do you live here alone, Gerard? And if I don't answer, Gerard says, if I don't tell you the answer, then what will happen? You've got enough sense not to want to get hurt. Okay. It means you don't want to get, you have, you are sensible enough. You have sense enough not to be hurt by me. So if you do not answer my question, you shall be attacked by me. I think, Gerard says, I think good sense is shown more in the ability to avoid pain than in the mere desire to do so. What do you think, mister? So see, dear students, Gerard, being a dramatist, being a playwright, is very, very knowledgeable, is a cultured person. He will be having a refined language because he is a writer. So he will have refined language. He will have cultured language. He will, ha he will have tricky language, which intruder, intruder may not be able to understand. Because what happens, literary language is something which is beyond the comprehension or beyond the understanding of the ordinary people. Okay, Only when if you go through a lot of literature, if you go through a lot of good stories, then you develop the literary language, then you develop the literary thought, literary science. Otherwise, uh, a normal person who is not well read, okay, who doesn't go through good books, cannot understand the refined language because in our everyday conversation, we normally do not use the refined language. We use the spoken language only, very simple language and layman's language. But Gerard is not speaking layman's language to him. You see the sentence he has used now, I think good sense is shown more in the ability to avoid pain than in the mere desire to do so. Okay. So Gerard is replying to the intruder saying that uh, whenever you said you have got enough, see, Intruder said you have got enough sense not to want to get hurt. So he said sense, whenever you are using the word sense, let me tell you that good sense is where the good sense is shown where you tend to avoid pain, okay, then giving pain, understood. So this is where good sense, uh, the word sense is justified, it says that. You know, when intruder says, I hope you have enough sense, then Gerard said, good sense is shown, okay, by avoiding pain, not by inflicting pain, not by giving pain. What do you think, mister? Then intruder says, never mind my name. I like yours better. Mr. Gerard, what are your Christian names? Then he says, Gerard says, Vincent Charles, do you run a car? Gerard, no. Into that, that's a lie. You are not dealing with the fool. I am as smart as you and smarter, and I know you run a car. Better be careful, wise guy. Hmm. See, even the intruder calls him wise guy, okay, because he is a dramatist. Are you American? Are you American? Or is that merely a clever imitation? Uh, intruder is asking, uh, sorry, uh, Gerard is asking. Are you American or um, it's just a clever imitation that you are 
making okay is are you really american or you are trying to imitate american accent uh introduce says listen this guns not no toy okay don't be don't make fun of me okay because what i'm holding in my hand is a gun is not a toy i can hurt you without killing you and still get my answers then gerard says of course if you put it like that i'll be glad to assist him i do possess a car and it's in the garage round the corner the interest is that's better that is what i wanted to know because i know that you have a car do people often come out here very rarely people visit my cottage that is what gerard says surprisingly few people take the trouble to visit me there is the baker and the green grocer of course and then there is the milkman quite charming but no one so interesting as yourself okay the uh, these people comes uh, come to me like grocer people green grocer or you can say milkman baker they come to me but not as interesting as not people as interesting as you they never come to me in today i happen to know that you never see trades people okay trades people means the uh, businessman uh, sorry uh, salesman and all that okay uh, then gerard says you seem to have taken a considerable amount of trouble since you know so much about me won't you say something about yourself you have been so modest gerard said it seems that you have taken a lot of information about me you know about me quite a lot now uh, you know would you mind talking something about you introducing yourself to me the introder says i could tell you plenty i have a lot of things to tell you you think you are smart but i am i am the top of the class around here okay means i am as smart as you i have got brains and i use them that's how i got where i am and then gerard says and where precisely have you got then he said not like uh, mm, that's where i i've got where i have means i have come up to life in that position where i am now then gerard says which position what precisely have you got where have you taken yourself to in life it didn't require a great brain to break into my little cottage okay he says it didn't require much of brain to break into my little cottage introder says when you know why i have broken into your little cottage you will be surprised and it won't be a pleasant surprise okay but the reason when you'll come to know the reason why i have come to your house why i have broken into your little cottage you shall be surprised but that will not be a pleasant surprise that will be a scary kind of a surprise for you gerard with you figuring so largely in it that is un understandable by the way what particular line of crime do you embrace or aren't you a specialist and he's saying that okay you appear to be a criminal okay now directly gerard is speaking uh, you appear to be a criminal because the way you have approached me broke into my little cottage with gun in your hand it appears uh, you know gerard got the impression that he was a criminal that is why he is asking by the way what particular line of crime do you embrace or aren't you a specialist my specialty is jewel robbery now introder says my specialty is jewel robbery i am a jewel robber okay i do robbery uh, of jewelry your car will do me a treat it's certainly a dandy bus okay your car will certainly help me commit uh, my uh, those crimes i'm afraid jewels are few and far between in the wilds of essex in the wilds of essex is a place where jewels are not much uh, available so are the cops i can retire here nicely for a little while cops are also very few here in this region there are say cops mean police you mean to live with me a trifle sudden isn't it you have not been invited he said it's a trifle sudden uh you know he have not been invited so isn't it uh, something which is surprising for me um you won't be here you won't be here long introducer says 
so I did not trouble to ask okay so because I will kill you therefore and take up your house that is why I did not give you much of information uh, about living with you uh, what do you mean Gerard says this is your big surprise I'm going to kill you I'm going to kill you is something what is the big surprise for you a little harsh isn't it into that with heavy sarcasm sarcasm means making fun of somebody so with heavy sarcasm yeah I'll be sorry to do it I've taken a fancy to you but it just got to be done okay I've taken a fancy to you means I have mm, I have started liking you mm, I've taken a fancy to you but it's just got to be done I need to be you so how can I be you I cannot be you without killing you uh, why add murder to your other crimes it's a great step you are taking Gerard says why are you adding murder to your other crimes you, you are a jewel thief for uh, it's okay but why are you adding another crime to your name okay why are you adding another murder adding murder to your crime crime I'm not taking it for fun. I have been hunted long enough. I'm I'm wanted for murder already and they can't hang me twice. Okay. They can't hang me twice. It means I want I have already a case against me for murder. And I want to murder you as well. So if I have to die why not commit some more murders and then die because nobody can hang me twice only once I will be hanged therefore I want to commit some more murders that is why I came to murder you uh, Gerard you are planning a gratu gratuitous double so to speak admitted you have nothing to lose but what have you to gain okay you have admitted yourself that you have nothing to lose but what will you gain by uh, by sort of murdering me what will you gain by killing me okay so that is the question that is the question uh, that Gerard is asking into that I have got freedom to gain as for myself I am a poor hunted rat as Vincent Charles Gerard I am free to go places and do nothing I can eat well and sleep and without having to be ready to beat it at the side of a cop um, what does intruder says I have got freedom to gain okay I shall get freedom as for myself I am a poor hunted rat as Vincent Charles Gerard I am free to go places and do nothing uh, because uh, Gerard is very very famous as a playwright therefore if he takes up the identity of Gerard by killing him then he can be a free bird he can move here and there he, he is free to go to play different places I can eat well and sleep and without having to be ready to beat it at the sight of a cop and even the cop cannot catch me I am ready to move around in front without having to be ready to beat it at the side of a cop I do not have to run away from the cop Gerard in most melodrama dramas the villain is foolish enough to delay his killing long enough to be frustrated you are much luckier okay the Gerard say in most melodramas villain is melodramas means something that appears to be artificial not natural okay in most of them and your case is also uh, like melodrama to me uh, anyway in most of the melodramas what happens the villain is so foolish that he takes time uh, in killing his uh, you know victim in killing long enough to be frustrated and then he becomes frustrated you are much luckier because you intend to kill me now you are not wasting your time in that from that point of view you are very lucky uh, into that I'm okay I've got a reason for everything I'm going to be Vincent Charles Gerard C I have got to know what he talks like now I know that posh stuff comes easy this is Mr. VC Gerard speaking pantomime of phoning 
in imitation cultured voice and that's not all. He stands up, get up a minute, Gerard stands, now take a look at me. Okay, so now Intruder has taken up the, uh, uh, you know, accent of the, of Gerard because he is interviewing, he sort of interacting so that he comes to know how Gerard speaks, how Gerard behaves, what are his interests, dislikes and all that so that he can take over his life and kill Gerard and uh, live the life of Gerard and gets respect in the society. Okay, so dear students, let me wind up here today. I shall continue day after tomorrow. Okay, so dear students, I've got to take leave of you today. I've got some work. I've got to leave of you now. Okay, so uh, dear students, let me stop here and please uh, be present uh, in subsequent two classes because I shall be winding up my lesson in the upcoming two lectures. So if you uh, miss out, if you remain absent, then you shall certainly miss out my lecture. And uh, it is a difficult lesson, little bit of uh, trick is there of course and there's a twist in the tail as well. Uh, which will fail to sort of uh, um, catch up later on. So uh, take care and bye bye and please do submit my ASL task which I uh, forwarded to you uh, yesterday. So uh, do submit to me uh, positively by this evening. Your camera come live. Hmm, sir. Okay then bye bye take care.